Okay, got my alum converted to battery here. An old small car battery. I'm charging it up now to way over 15 volts. It's completely full now. And it will drop to a uh, standing voltage of 12.2, somewhere around that. Now, I want to do some testing. Put my inverter on. Just connected, of course. Okay. Hold me better. Okay, so now it's going down a little. Uh, I've got a drilling machine here, which is 550 watts. And I'm going to put this into the inverter. Okay. Now, as you can see. Too bad. It's recovering as well. Okay, so that's one test. That's uh, 550 watts, but it's not. Um, uh, how do you call it? I'm, I'm not really drilling something. Else. Now I have here a, a grass mower, uh, quite a heavy one. It's also 550 watts. No. Let's see what happens when I connect this. It's not easy for me with one hand. Okay. Well, I got uh, the motor connected now. And, uh, But I am able to mow my grass with this. <laughs> it's, it's going down immediately, but we got a little as well. So, in fact, I think there must be going uh, somewhere around 50 amps from this Alum battery into the inverter to get this power. So, uh, this is not bad. Now I can mow my grass with, uh, with this car battery on Alum and pull it down to uh, maybe 10 volts or something without a problem. And charge it back up again, which is nice. So the Alum can put out a lot of power. Okay, thanks for watching.